put some spark in me. Hmm. Okay. And with that, since Manable Lecter, for people who have been paying attention, is your last uh, studio album. One of the main things that I noticed different with Kevlar, of course, is you're going back to doing the production. So what was the reasoning behind you uh, getting back into doing the producing? Well, I was trying to get producers originally when I first started, but um, they were sending me stuff that wasn't a mature version of season of season two. It wasn't a mature version of season. You know what I mean? They kept sending me stuff with like samples of the old stuff in it as the hook and stuff like that. And it kind of got frustrating. So I was talking to a friend of mine named Tang and he, uh, he told me, man, get this drum machine called the MPC Live, the Live 2. And at the time, it had just came out. So I bought it. He taught me how to use it. And um, slowly but surely, it took me like six months to learn it and to mix and master on it. Took another three or four months. Then I started making the album. So... um. It took a year before I could get started, but he told me, he said, bro, if you want season two, you produce season one, so you should produce season two. So I fell back and took my time and just got into it. So, so it was really his idea for me to produce the album, my boy Tangarello. And on that note, with 24 Deep with Season of the Sickness, what uh equipment were you using back then uh asr 10 